SBU is the Spina Bifida Association's new online education program. Our goal is to bring the world's best care providers and resources directly into your home. The session features valuable information on the connection between folic acid intake and the prevention of neural tube birth defects, including spina bifida. We hope that you will enjoy this presentation, Food and Folic Acid, What Every Woman Should Know, and that you take the time to complete the evaluation at the close of the presentation. This session was made possible by an unrestricted educational grant from the Grain Foods Foundation. Hello, I am Sylvia melendez Klinger. I am a registered dietitian and founder of Hispanic Food Communications. I teach people about making healthy food choices. And I'm Bruce Young. I'm an obstetrician, gynecologist, and specialist in maternal and fetal medicine at New York University Medical Center. I work with women who are pregnant or thinking of becoming pregnant to ensure that they have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. When a woman is planning on becoming pregnant, there are a number of important things she can do to help make sure her pregnancy is a healthy one. First, she should consult her doctor or midwife for a pre-pregnancy evaluation. The next step is eating a balanced diet and getting enough of the vitamin folic acid, which can help prevent birth defects such as spina bifida. Today we'll tell you more about spina bifida, what it is and how it develops. We'll also discuss the steps you can take to prevent spina bifida and keep you and your baby healthy. Let's get started. So the first question you probably have is, what is spina bifida? The term spina bifida literally means split spine. The condition happens when a baby is developing in the womb and the spinal column doesn't close all of the way. There are different types of spina bifida and no two cases are quite the same. 90% of babies born with spina bifida live to adulthood, but they can experience a range of health problems such as learning disabilities, difficulty walking, latex allergies, and trouble with bathroom functions. Spina bifida and similar birth defects of the brain and spine are referred to as neural tube defects. The tube that forms the brain and spine may not completely close, which is why it's called a neural tube defect. Of the four million women who give birth in the United States each year, some 3,000 babies are born with neural tube defects. Put another way, about eight babies born in the United States each day have spina bifida or another neural tube defect. Since a baby's spinal cord develops so early during pregnancy, neural tube defects happen in the first three or four weeks of pregnancy, often before a woman even knows she's pregnant or has missed her monthly menstrual period. Because of this, women need to pay attention to their eating habits before getting pregnant. Very few women understand that their diet before pregnancy plays an equally important role as their diet during pregnancy. In fact, a recent March of Dimes and Centers for Disease Control survey revealed that only 28% of women of childbearing age knew folic acid can prevent birth defects, and only 11% say they knew that folic acid should be consumed prior to pregnancy. And since more than half of pregnancies in the United States are unplanned, all women of reproductive age need to follow a healthy lifestyle whether or not they are planning to have a baby. The single biggest lifestyle step a woman can take to prevent spina bifida from happening is consuming enough folic acid before getting pregnant. This nutrient is found in many foods that are common in the everyday diet. We'll go over those in a moment. Folic acid is a B vitamin that helps cells grow and develop. The body needs it to make new cells such as those in a developing spinal column, which is why it's so important for a healthy pregnancy and preventing spina bifida. All women who are old enough to become pregnant should consume 400 micrograms of folic acid each day. This is important for keeping the level of folic acid in their bodies high enough should they become pregnant. According to the Spina Bifida Association, Women who have had a baby born with a neural tube defect are 20 times more likely to have another pregnancy affected by one of these conditions. These women 
and women with spina bifida themselves need a greater amount of folic acid starting right before and during pregnancy, 4,000 micrograms per day. Regardless of your situation, be sure to talk with your doctor if you're thinking of becoming pregnant to discuss the amount of folic acid that's best for you. Now, you may have heard the term folate before, which sounds similar to folic acid. These words refer to the same vitamin, but in different forms. Folate is the form found naturally in foods. Folic acid is the synthetic form found in supplements that can be added to foods as well. This process is called fortification. There are a number of everyday staple foods that provide folic acid. This includes spinach and other leafy green vegetables, beans, peas, asparagus, orange juice, and enriched grains like white bread, rice, flour tortillas, pasta, and breakfast cereal. Because of its important role in preventing birth defects like spina bifida, enriched grains have been fortified with folic acid since 1998. Enriched flour contains two times as much folic acid as was found in whole grains. In fact, enriched grains are the largest source of folic acid in the diets of most Americans. Since the Food and Drug Administration require fortification of enriched grains, the number of babies born in the United States with neural tube defects has decreased by approximately one-third. In light of this, the CDC ranked folic acid fortification of enriched grains as one of the top 10 public health achievements of the first decade of the 21st century. For women who are unable to include enough folic acid in their diets, folic acid supplements are another option for preventing spina bifida. Research has shown that if all women who could possibly become pregnant were to take a multivitamin with folic acid, the risk of neural tube defects like spina bifida could be reduced by up to 70%. So talk with your doctor or a registered dietitian to determine if you're consuming enough folic acid each day. Besides getting enough folic acid, there are other lifestyle factors that contribute to a healthy pregnancy. One of this is making sure you're at a healthy weight. According to the CDC, one in five women is obese when they become pregnant. Weighing too much increases the chances of dangerous complications that affect both a mother and her baby. In fact, obese women are nearly twice as likely to have a baby born with a neural tube defect than women who are at a healthier weight. To reduce the risk of spina bifida, women of childbearing age should make sure that they are at a healthy weight before getting pregnant, in addition to getting enough folic acid in their diets. A final area we'd like to cover is spina bifida in the Hispanic community. Hispanic women are twice as likely as the rest of the population to have a baby born with a neural tube defect. This group is also less likely than non-Hispanic white women to make a connection between folic acid and birth defects prevention. Additionally, the rate of obesity in the Hispanic community is more than 20% higher than it is for whites according to the CDC. Nearly one in three Hispanic women is obese versus one in five white women. Given the tie between obesity and pregnancy complications, this puts Hispanic women at an even higher risk for having a baby born with neural tube defect. Because Hispanic women are more likely to have a child born with a neural tube defect, it is critical that they boost their folic acid intake before they get pregnant. Fortunately, some of the staple foods in the traditional Hispanic diet are a key source of folic acid. These include rice, beans, and flour tortillas. We hope you have a better understanding about folic acid and spina bifida after watching this session. If you would like to learn more, visit the Spina Bifida Association, the Grain Foods Foundation, and CDC's website for additional information. We thank you for joining us today. Remember, a few small steps can go a long way in preventing spina bifida. A diet rich in folic acid from foods like leafy greens, beans, and enriched grains is one of the surest ways to keep you and your baby healthy. Thank you for attending this session. 
Because meeting your needs is important to us, we need your feedback on this presentation. Please take a few moments to complete our evaluation. It will only take a few clicks of your mouse to provide us information to make SBU experience better for you and others. If you have any questions relating to SBU, please contact us at sbu at sbaa.org.